ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zubba Potato. Welcome back to Captain of Industry. Last time we got the copper uh, area completely set up. We've got the we've got the concrete processing area uh, looking fantastic. And actually, just between episodes, uh, we finished a whole bunch of uh, additional research. And by a whole bunch of additional research, I mean one particular bit of research, uh, which is Lab Two now. I would very, very, very much like to progress on and get pipes level two so that we can move a little bit more oil uh, through our pipes over here because I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, oil is a little bit of a bottleneck at the moment. And in fact, if I was to unityify these, I mean, if I was to unityify uh, actually all of them, like, ugh, there we go, unityify uh, all of them. I mean, it is going to cost a little bit of unity, but it is going to allow me to get just a little bit of additional oil. I don't actually think that it's going to make that much of a difference, uh, but we do need more diesel, and um, it, it's kind of imperative that we get it set up. So we'll we'll do that, and maybe that'll make a little bit of a difference. Now, uh, maintenance depot, I'm going to boost that again just because we're out of power, and the reason that we're out of power is because all of... In fact, you know what? Priority 4. Let's leave it at Priority 4. Copy the settings of that, apply them to here. Let's make sure that we're prioritizing delivery of diesel to the diesel gens, and that's going to allow us to keep the good times going, as far as I'm concerned, which should allow everything to remain powered and uh, and quite happy, which is which is great. Either way, this is good. Let's Let's boost you, boost you, and boost you as well. Yeah, we're going to be we're going to be spending a whole bunch of unity uh, and I'm not even necessarily sure if this is going to be a worthwhile thing to do because we just are not able to shift oil fast enough. I mean, it's just such a slow process. There's such a large amount of oil required relative to the amount that we're able to supply in these tiny little pathetic piddly pipes. Yeah, we really need to get uh, we need to get better pipes. Anyway, in order to do that, we need to upgrade our labs. What do we need to upgrade a lab? In fact, we can do it right now. What the heck is that research thing, though? Hold up. What the heck was this? Lab equipment. What the heck? Mechanical, compar mechanical parts in an electric assembly plus electronics equals... equals that. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, I have no idea how many... No idea how many of these things we're actually going to need. Uh, we're making mechanical components here. Why don't we swap on over to doing... I tell you what, let's let's upgrade you. Let's upgrade you, which is something that we can do uh, reasonably quickly and reasonably easily. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, and then we will get you to do whatever it is, lab component parts or whatever the stuff is. Either way, uh, we really need just a little bit more diesel, and we will be good. Also, we want to do a whole bunch of exploration. I would really be quite happy if we could fix our uh, our power supply issues. There we go. Keep up, keep on fueling up the diesel, even if it does cost us a little bit of a little bit of unity to maintain this. I think that that is a, a price that I'm perfectly willing to pay. I mean, I'm not really concerned at all uh, about our about our temporary lack of unity. It's it is a it is a small setback. Anyway, uh, lab equipment is on the go. How many did we need to upgrade? Literally just ten. So let's get that upgraded. Let's get that upgraded. It's probably going to have a bit of a knock-on impact onto our population. So you know what? I'm going to preemptively start construction of one of those. Uh, captain's office as well. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna complete that very very soon. What the heck? Just telling me busy now. Let's. Of course they're busy. What else what else would they be doing? Right. Anyway, doesn't particularly matter. Small excavator has no fuel. Yeah, we also need to get a fuel station set up over over here somewhere because we do have fuel that is just chilling over there. Let's get another fuel station. It's in their fuel station. Let's in fact just copy this entire setup. We'll get another fuel station and we'll plunk it down right about there and the good news is is that we don't actually need to faff around with pipes or any of that nonsense. Uh, right, so... What have we got? Veggies here? We've got loads and loads of veggies. I also would like to get these farms to be to be irrigated farms at some point over the course of this episode. In fact, you know what? Let's get... Let's get those down. Not enough workers. I kind of anticipated that. Let's go and, let's go and see if we can adopt some more people. There we go. That'll keep us going temporarily, which is good. 
Uh, we can also turn this back on when we need to. So that's pretty good. Uh, but this process is is going well. As far as I'm concerned, this is a this is a lovely rate at which we've at which we've decided to assemble things. So that's great. Right. Have we got our lab level twos? Yes, we absolutely do, and we are working on pipes, which is fantastic. We have 136 construction component level ones. Am I happy with that? I'm not unhappy with it, but I think I could definitely do with getting some more. So why don't we unpause the construction of all of these, and we'll start work on we'll start work on that proper. Uh, this area also needs to be changed slightly, so I'm actually going to just yoink that out of there, yoink that out of there, and in fact, I'm going to just even this up. Yeah, even this up. Let the let the concrete uh, let the concrete slabs run down. And then we'll do what we've done with most of our concrete slabs. Whoa. What came online? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Pause that. Make sure that we've got the recipe. There we go. Now they'll all make that. Brilliant. Uh, that's looking pretty darn good. Pickup cannot reach destination. What's your destination, bud? You shouldn't be able to reach the destination. Truck auto export off. Auto export off. There we go. Turn all of the auto exporting off. That was intentional. Trust me, video game. That was intentional. Uh, right. Shall we get some upgrades here? I think we shall. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully the construction won't be delayed. We are losing population, and that is because air pollution, water pollution, a whole bunch of things, really. Yeah, and just general disease. Why is there a disease going around? That ain't super. That ain't super great. I'm not exactly over the moon about that. Uh, I, I could maybe hope for something a little, a little bit less diseasey to be going around, but that's okay. Uh, right. Let's also start filling this ship up, shall we? And hopefully we'll be able to get our workers together. That can be unboosted. There's absolutely no reason for that to continue uh, as boosted. And to be honest, I mean, these can, like, all be removed. There we go. Okay. And again, it's like, I don't even think these need to be boosted. We just need, we just need a consistent supply of oil. And we just need better pipes. I, it sucks to say it, but we just need better pipes. Right, let's get diesel, keep full of diesel, and assign a truck here. And one day, eventually, one day, this excavator is going to get, uh, is going to get fueled up again. So... I can't wait until that day actually actually comes. It's gonna be it's gonna be wonderful. Right. So this is gonna be messy. I mean you can see it coming a mile away, can't you? I should probably have done this in planning mode. There we go. Always good to to work in planning mode. However, that being said, I seem to have created something which is not unbelievably difficult to work with. That's actually not terrible. I mean, it's not overtly pretty. And the more that I look at it, the more I get confused about reality. That's not bad. I mean, that is... <laughs> that is just so unbelievably awful. Uh, but you know what? We'll do it. We'll we'll do it. Let's, let's get that all built. There we go. Uh, away we go. Beautiful. Away we go. So I'm not sure that we can actually deal with the with the throughput here. Uh, I don't think that we have enough resources coming out, but I guess we can we can wait and see. We can wait and see. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Now is our boat loaded? Our boat is absolutely loaded, so we're gonna start exploring. Ah, yes, we can't explore. Forgot about that. Let's get one. Let's get one batch of folk. Let's get one batch of folk. That seems like a good idea to me. We have got about a bazillion vegetables here. Uh, and we got potatoes and vegetables that are just chilling in the in the field there. 
Wow. That's a huge... That's a huge amount of stuff. Right, the food market. Oh, I see. We've got different vitamin stats. Carbs. The whole... The whole shebang. Uh, right, well, you know what? I actually think it would be kind of helpful if we could get... I think it would be kind of helpful if we could maybe set this up slightly differently. So, let's get another food market over here. Yeah, I mean, it's only going to cost us 25 construction components anyway. And let's be real, we're making construction po uh, components like there's there's no tomorrow. I say that, and then immediately demonstrate that we're not making construction components like there's no tomorrow. Uh, because there is... Uh, There's no space here. All right. Do that and that. So there is there is logic here. The rationale is that we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. That's gonna go over there. Excuse me. And then that's going to go over there. Perfect. And I think, I think that's going to work well enough. Okay, we need four workers. What did we need workers for? I don't think that I brought anything else online, but apparently I did. Uh, why? Right, pause the research labs. Just, just temporarily. We need, we need more workers. We need to fix our, we need to fix our food situation. And we also need to get ourselves a vehicle ramp. Let's do a big vehicle ramp, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. For all intents and purposes. Do that, like, over there. Yeah, I mean, we don't have anywhere near enough concrete. I'm aware of that. Let's quick deliver this. Quick deliver this, just because it's uh, important that I get up to speed. Start ramping up that concrete production again. Bada bim, bada boom. So this is going to allow us to at least get some concrete storage for use in projects. And then, obviously, we're going to continue to to build this stuff out. Right, that's looking marvelous. That is looking truly, truly, truly marvelous. All good on that front, and we'll be able to get this done pretty quickly as well. 160 construction components, or 160 uh, concrete components. I think, I think we might just be all right. I think we might be fine. Stable, yeah, they've changed this. Busy, stable, very confusing. Very, very confusing. There's no, there's no lead time anymore. I think I'm okay with that, to be fair. Don't think that's necessarily a big deal. Yeah, this is all looking. This is all looking very, very good. Uh, less than six months when we got when we got refugees arriving, we're going to take that opportunity to get exploring. That's going to be very, very useful, I think. And we're going to do lots of stuff. We're going to do lots and lots and lots of stuff. Low food supply. I know the food supply is low. I really, I'm acutely aware. Acutely aware, it's low. Now. These are both inputs. Yet it only wants to connect to one. It's a bit strange, a bit sus. You can see what I'm doing. That looks like a bug to me. Oh, it's not a bug. It's um, it's a different connector. A uh, connector? It's a. How does that work? It's an aggregate storage shelf. Hold up, potatoes use U-shaped conveyors. They're like aggregate. What? Oh my god, they actually do. What the heck is that? Dude, that's wild. Uh, okay, I mean, does that change things? Not particularly. But it does mean that we need to... I mean, we need to get a potato set up here as well. So we're going to get loose storage. There we go. And uh, we're going to have to do a funky little thing like that. I mean, this is, this is going to work. It's absolutely going to work. U-shaped conveyor. 
There we go. There we go. That's fine. I didn't really intend to make it like that, but we did. Hey ho. Okay, we got more peeps. That's brilliant. We got 20 months worth of um, food supply. That's that's great. That's fine and dandy. Let's get this all built. Uh, let's assign vegetables to be stored here. We'll do it on keep full. We'll just move. We'll move the vegetables over here by truck for now. Just going to give us a little bit of extra space to play around with, but you can worry about the rest of that later. Uh, do I want more refugees? I'm going to take one more batch of refugees, and then we're also going to go uh, and do a little bit of exploring, and we're going to get to, you know, the big wide world out there. Uh, we can get one of our labs restarted, which is exactly what I think we're going to do. Retaining walls? That seems pretty cool. I think I need power generation, though. I need power generation. Advanced diesel? I need ocean drilling technology for diesel first. Biofuel using our potatoes. A burner disposes solid waste by burning. Why would I want to do that when I can just dump it into the environment? Uh, like, literally, just like here? That doesn't really make sense to me, but that's that's fine, I guess. All right, concrete-wise, we're still doing okay. I mean, we're still sort of backlogging a whole bunch of concrete right now, so... Yeah, it's not exactly not exactly perfect. And, of course, we've got to bear in mind that our concrete, concrete situation isn't really going to make uh, altogether too much sense. Hold on, I've just found some people. That's great. Let's continue to explore. See what else we've got going on. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to need to expand our concrete area at some point. I mean, we make 12. 12 times 4 is, we've done this before, 48. And then we use 48 with just these, with just these four. So we're going to need to get at least another four if we want to keep up um, when this, when this all gets, gets turned on. Uh, no more mining designations available for the iron. We can go and fix that. And we'll go and fix that right now. Immediately. Thank you. Ugh. Some mining designations outside the area. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, I for completely forgot. I completely, completely, for completely forgot that we need to get this, uh, this pipe upgraded. In fact, all of these pipes upgraded. Here we go. Quick deliver. Yep. Upgrade. Quick deliver. Upgrade. Quick deliver. Upgrade. Quick deliver. I mean, this is just going to be a, a freaking game changer. I hope. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. And it costs me, like, nothing to do. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Excellent. Truly exceptional. Is that still needing to be upgraded over there? Connector? No, that's... There is a pipe under there, isn't there? Yeah, there is. There we go. Get that upgraded. Perfect. Okay. I think that's much better. Definitely, definitely, definitely better. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, there's still... Still a bit of an issue filling up this thing, apparently. Not quite sure why that is. No idea at all. But, you know what? It's fine. There might just be, like, redundant stuff in the system. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, new refugees, excellent. That's going to allow us to get our... Uh, situation sorted. What have we got? Settlement over here. Not enough fuel. Uh, what's the settlement trade? Diesel. Oh, chicken. Interesting. That's brand new. There's also contracts. What the heck? I like that. Let's get the ship to go home. It's going to bring more peeps uh, as well. Pause the beacon for now. That, that seems fine to me. Uh, construction components. Why are we not making as many construction components as we used to? Maybe we're just using too many construction components right now. I am not entirely sure. I also don't like... I don't like the amount of uh, space that this rainwater system takes up. I think I'm actually going to maybe do something. I'm 
Yeah, so I think I'm going to place these two over here. Oh, boat's back. Lovely. I'm going to get a small vehicle ramp right over there as well. We're going to get some pipes in here. Connect over there, and we're going to ditch these two. Reason being is that we're going to need the space. We're going to need the space for another four additional concrete mixers. Is that even going to be enough? I don't know. Recover. Quick deliver that. I was going to build as a priority, but quick delivering is fine. That'll allow everything to work. Brilliant. Okay. So, we can't change anything on the ship yet, but we will be able to soon. Power generation level 2. Let's unpause the thingy there. Let's not unpause this, because that's going to be a disaster if we, uh, if we do change it up. We will try and build some additional trucks, though. And we'll unpause this as well, because I would love to get some more vehicle parts, and uh, we're going to need them. Let's also take that bit of pipe out there and we'll copy I mean it's literally not worth copying is it let's copy into planning mode actually right what is this u-shaped conveyor I mean this is where we kind of like come up against the natural the natural limits cannot join to a ramp is that a ramp oh Okay. Yeah, this is where we kind of come up against the natural limits of level 1 uh, U-shaped conveyors. That's going to be probably a big old problem, I imagine. No. What about coming off at the other side? So, we're going to make this work, for sure. I'm just trying to do it in such a way where we don't have, like, a spaghetti nightmare maze. So, at the end of the day, as long as it works, I don't really care if it looks like a spaghetti nightmare maze, right? Like, that's the thing. But, in order to make, in order to make sure, in order to make sure that it does work, we need to, we need to try and, you know, do our best to not make it look awful. There we go. Okay, try this. Think. There we go. We've got it. Okay. I mean, <laughs> it is a little bit nightmare-y, but it could be worse. It could absolutely be worse. Right. Right. Yeah, that rain is... That rain is awful. Crisis management? What the heck? Pinning important products? That's kind of cool. Storage alerts? That's also kind of cool. Priority system? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank goodness. I thought there was going to be some sort of weird and wacky style uh, disaster system in place. But thankfully, thankfully no. That's, that's okay. Uh, right, let's also store potatoes here. Keep full there. Brilliant. Uh, auto export. Yeah, we don't want to. That's on keep full. Uh, truck import. And export is turned off. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see if this, if this actually works. It says that we've got 400 in the inputs. But I don't actually know if that's necessarily the case. Right, leave that off there. Right, beautiful. So we're only importing into one place, which is wonderful. Okay, power is up and running, or power generation tech is up and running. Mechanical power storage. Let's see if we can just try and go deep into the power sort of tech. Edicts? Oh, goodness. We'll do that. Maintenance depot too, and then we'll also get retaining walls. Uh, I have throughout this time forgotten to dispatch the boat again. 
So I'm going to get the boat to go and explore out over there. Uh, we should also see if we can try and do some donations. I'm curious to see how that ends up working out. So, yeah, we'll we'll see how that ends up uh, ends up working out. Uh, we do need to get all of these upgraded to farm level twos. I think I'm going to do that right now. Yeah, and also just double checking. How are we doing on the electronics production front? Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. This is great. This is good. This is good. Vegetables lost due to lack of water. Well, that is very unfortunate because that was uh, mere moments before the rain did decide to start falling. But that's fine. Right, two categories satisfied. I mean, can we only have one input to each food market? Because if this is the case, we might as well... Might as well get ourselves another food market here. Then ditch this old food market and then get the potatoes to go... Oh! We've entered combat for the first time. And of course, we don't have any weapons. So just go home. It's a bit embarrassing, but I mean, you know, no shame in, no shame in retreat. There we go. Okay. So that's going to work out better, I think. That's going to work out way better. And we're just going to truck auto import. We're going to turn that off so that we no longer are importing by trucks. We should be stockpiling and then importing just, uh, just by the loose storage mechanism that we have here, which I think is a good way of doing it. Right, how are we getting on with our vehicle production? Not bad, not bad. It is taking a little bit of time, perhaps taking a little bit longer than I initially anticipated. Um, we're making lab equipment. I mean, what do we, what do we do with lab equipment? Oh, I see. The lab equipment is used actually in the ah. Okay, right. So we're still delivering that manually. That's a bit of a pain. Uh, yeah. Okay. Didn't really, didn't really think that one through, did I? No matter. Uh, right, let's unpause all of this. Get started on that. Because uh, we have got a really, really, really decent amount of... Well, if we do that, that's going to... We're going to massively end up blowing through our workers. Let's expand. Yeah, let's expand out a little bit. And then let's get... Let's just get going again, I suppose, right? I mean, we're still above the repair threshold, so we can still explore. This area is gated because it's gated behind the enemy. But I don't necessarily think that that's too much of a problem. Uh, speaking of problems, we need to get power sorted. So, uh, steam. Do we have the steam? We do have the steam system in place. Now, if power is global, there's no reason that we can't have the power set up over here. I think that's probably optimal, actually. Where is my... Where's my tree harvesting operation? Let's take this all away and start cutting down this area here. Yeah. The reason being is that my power setup could fit quite nicely right in here. So we'll try and make that... We'll try and make that happen. Okay. Everything is, is happening all at once. It's very, very busy. I get it. But I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. I'm pretty. I'm pretty content with how things are. How things are operating. Uh, diesel is very okay. Concrete mixer has no recipe selected. That's fine. We'll get the settings copied across from here. Fly them over there. Beautiful. Right. Locations explored. We found some more people. Excellent. Uh, we can't even get to the next area, so it's fine. We'll just come home. And we don't have enough workers. Well, I'll tell you what. It's not necessarily a problem because we'll be bringing back uh, we'll be bringing back some more workers and just in time to start our brand new power production area. That's for sure. Right, potatoes. So this should just sort of whittle down. I think. Yeah, we'll see. Right, where's my boat? It must be back. It must be back very very soon. 
There we go. Here it is. Extremely busy, apparently. Everything is extremely busy. Well, that's good. I'm glad that I'm glad that we're extremely busy. That to me that says that we're doing something right. Okay, also we can't empty this apparently. It's a bit of a shame. Right, mechanical power storage. We're working on edicts now. That's brilliant. Let's get let's get to the next area. We'll just continue to explore. It'd be nice if I could auto explore. But alas, not much that I can do about that. Dismiss that research. And let's start work properly on our, our power generation area. I mean, here's the thing. We're going to need... Let's go into planning mode. We're already in planning mode. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to do... We're going to need to make this quite large, I think. Right, so let's put that as the... That is the input. We're going to build one sort of system, just so that I know the relationships with each other. 24, so it's going to be a 2 to 1. So it comes in here. There, there. Yes, I think that's it. Then we get the power generator. Let's see what the ratio is. This gives us 1 megawatt, so we need to get 2 of these. 1 megawatt of mechanical power two of those and a flywheel at the end if I'm not mistaken what did we get a damaged cargo ship cargo ship technology very very cool okay keep on exploring I mean we're gonna get torpedoed or something but it's not a concern for now okay that's nice we just need to make sure that we're exhausting the the output because we have no other choice at the moment. And we also need to make sure that we're exhausting the low the low pressure stuff. That's all connected in one big shaft configuration. Let's do it. Let's absolutely do that. Right, loose storage wise, I mean, we're gonna get Whoa, ships in battle. Oh, it's not for long. Yep, there we go. I told you. I told you that was going to happen, didn't I? I told you. Right, not enough maintenance. Why is that the case? May very well be that we just don't have enough of the stuff coming in. Uh, yeah. Although, to be fair, I mean, as long as we have... As long as we have the components being manufactured, which they are, then we should be fine. Uh, but the thing is, if we're not fine, it's not necessarily the end of the world. What we're going to do is we're just going to copy all of this. Is there any way that I can actually just copy all the belts and stuff as well? I feel like I might be able to if I uh, read the help menu. Which, is that here? Uh, tutorial tools, copy. Goodness gracious me. Whole area, duplicate parts of your factory. Shift will also copy their configuration. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it's nice that we're able to copy the configuration. Don't get me wrong, but it's pretty useless. I say pretty useless. It's not pretty useless. That's still something, still something important that we learned. Also, this is a pretty inefficient way of going about doing things. But actually. It's good from the perspective that it gives us a whole bunch of extra redundancy. Right, cargo ship. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that yet. Uh, what does it cost for us to repair? Uh, actually, nothing, which is great. I mean, we should have more than... We should have more than enough iron. We absolutely do not. Holy cow, we don't have enough iron. Add an extra one of you. Let's get one of these added to the queue and another one. Cancel that, cancel that, cancel that. 
yeah, work on the next stage. That's cool. Right, it's not bad. It's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. We're in a very okay position. Uh, we still need to link up this copper. This copper area, what am I talking about? This concrete production area. Which we can do relatively easily. Get that all unpaused. Wonderful. And we've got loads of... We've got loads of concrete. But we don't even have enough workers. That's the other, uh, that's the other issue. Anyway, keep on exploring. Keep on exploring. Keep on exploring. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I wonder what all my trucks are busy doing. Not exactly sure. I'm really not sure. Is it diesel runs? Is that the is that the primary purpose? It is a long it's a long way for any of these trucks to go. There's probably a lot of construction that's currently happening. Yeah. Okay. Get a U-shaped conveyor in there. Let's actually just turn planning mode off. Don't really need it. A whole bunch of iron is required, and uh, that we do not have. But we can get it relatively easily, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, groundwater pump. I don't believe there's a groundwater... There is a groundwater source nearby. I mean, that would not necessarily be the worst idea in the world. The reason that I suggest using the groundwater source... It's because it's a lot more solid. It's a lot more secure than just using these uh, rainwater harvesters. Location explored. 20 pops. Wheat seeds. Nice. Don't have enough fuel for anything here. Okay. Uh, we can try. We can try with the rain collectors. You know what? Cancel this. Just give me a big old... Give me a big old copy. Oh, that was... Pretty pathetic in terms of copying, but hey ho. Uh, yeah, so this is this is it's going to require such a large amount of space. What I was kind of worried about initially, but we have space here, so let's use it. Okay, good. Loose storage. It's a pretty big operation here, but I've learnt my I've learnt my lessons. Learnt learnt lessons before. About how necessary it is to make sure that you have a good water supply. And in fact, you know what? Let's make this out of uh, level two pipes. We'll make one half of it out of level two pipes. And then all of the little sort of feeder pipes that feed into it can be made out of level one pipes. To me, that seems like a pretty good compromise. There we go. Beautiful. All right, and maybe even space for another one in here somewhere um, at some point. Right, we're going to get a vehicle ramp. Again, trying to future-proof everything here, so that's what we'll do. What's up with the construction component level ones? It's the, it's the logs. That's it, right? It's the logs, yeah. Okay, why is that causing me causing me an issue? I have no idea where my harvester's gone. I assume it's around somewhere. Uh, he says. Where, where are you? Where are you, harvester? Tree harvester? You're not chilling. No, you're not chilling around there. Oh, you are busy. You're doing you're doing work. Uh, oh yeah, I see. You're just at the other side of the island. Why did you go over here? Ah, I see. Well, so that really wasn't where I wanted you to to excavate, but I guess that's fine too. I guess it's fine. 
we should maybe start thinking a little bit more aggressively uh, about how we deal with about how we deal with trees. Where are our trees going as well? Let's let's follow you. So you're taking the journey all the way over here. Excellent. Uh, maintenance. We're out of maintenance again. What the heck? You're going over here? Where are you going? Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. That's the issue. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's fine. Uh, right. Why are we not doing well in terms of maintenance? We should be. We just doubled everything. Oh, these are level one assembly machines. Let's get these both upgraded. There we go. I say both. There's four of them. Let's get them all upgraded. Costs a little bit of unity, but worth it. Vehicle is broken as it lacks maintenance. Not on my watch. Boost. Boost. Unity boost. Everything. Go, 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 go. Uh, also, copper, supposedly. We're a little bit low on the old copper. Yep, can confirm. Can confirm. Let's... Let's start the process of building this. Again, it feels like we're building a lot of stuff at the same time, but I'm actually completely okay with that. Uh, if that's if that's what it takes, then that's what it takes. Right, and boost that as well. Okay, it's going to increase our copper production, which is wonderful. And we just need to keep up the pace. There we go. I think, I think that's going to be a little bit better. Last month change is zero. Can we seriously not manage anything better than that? We are starting to stockpile a little bit of electronics, which is nice. There we go. Last month change is actually now positive. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Happy with that. That's, that's a little better. The maintenance is going to be fixed soon. We'll leave it boosted for now. We'll worry about that later. Right. Edicts in general need to be upgraded. What's the issue here? Uh, slag is not being crushed fast enough. 24 slag. Really? 24 slag. We make 48 slag a piece. I mean, I would kind of anticipate us running out of cement. Uh, maybe slag as well is a bit of a problem. To be fair, we don't have we don't have continual slag production. Uh, it's just not working as frequently as it needs to be. And the reason that it's not working as frequently as it needs to be is because the excavators... Well, uh, put simply, we don't have enough of them. We really don't have enough of these things. Are we still making... Oh, man, it's the iron. Dude, it's the, It's all about the iron. Uh, can we divert some resources from somewhere? I mean, there's no way that we need a second one of these. Well, we do, but we don't need it right now. Let's plonk you over there. What about a third coal? Yeah, we don't actually need a third coal one either. Let's just throw them all into iron, because without iron, without the basics, then we're getting ourselves into a right old pickle, aren't we? I don't even want to destroy that quite yet, because it's going to throw potatoes down the drain, and I don't want to do that. Heresy. Especially for me, with a channel name uh, named after the, the, the humble potato. Yeah, I think iron. I think iron really was causing a whole bunch of problems. Also, you know what we should do? And I know I'm just adding a whole bunch of extra sort of steps. I mean, this is really... This is really freaking stupid. I really have no idea why I don't just, like... Take this... Yoink it down, like, over here. Yeah, do that. I mean, whatever. We, we end up not putting down one because there's a tree in the in the way. There is no reason not to automate this. I mean, that's just like such a no-brainer that... And I said, I said about it before. I said I would do it before, but now I'm actually going to do it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, don't bother building another one. Don't bother building another one over here. Build all of the, the expansion uh, in this area. 
we're gonna need diesel generators for a little bit. Uh, even though I know we're building a brand new power area, but I'd rather have extra diesel generators on standby if we need, because we undoubtedly will need them. Uh, although actually, to be fair, why don't we pause this entire area? I know that I said that I was just gonna build it, but let's maybe focus on getting this bit done first. Okay. Right, water collection is, is good, right? It's not bad, that's for sure. Right, next stage. Piping it across the map. This pipe is inevitably going to have to be redone. But for now, that's, that's where it's going to go. Uh, construction component twos, we're going to wait for them to be delivered. We could Unity build it, but I don't think it's worth it. This is asking for iron, just not getting it. Yeah, we just need way more iron. What's the issue? Get more trucks? I'd say what we really could do with, we could also do with getting the... Where is it? The logistics control, yeah. That would be good. Right, just let's go absolutely crazy on the trucking front. Just go crazy on the trucking front. There's so many... So many trucks. So little time. Right, turn off the boosts here, turn off the boosts here, turn off the boosts here, and turn off the boost here as well. No reason to sort of over-egg it at the moment. Quite content just to sort of leave things as they are. Uh, we'll come out here and try and copy the previous system that we had. That's nice. That's nice. Yep. Beautiful. Okay, we make those changes. Happy days. Uh, we do need a little bit of extra water storage over here. Now, this is going to end up frustrating the supply of wood yet again. But there's no real way around this, unfortunately. Yeah, annoyingly, we're going to have to offset this ever so slightly so that we can actually get the connector placed properly in there. But again, that's okay. Might be worth us getting an additional storage tank, fluid storage tank, but again, it's fine. Right, why on earth are we not getting iron in here? We are getting a little bit of it. That's good. That's a step in the right direction. At least we're getting some. We still need more trucks. Is that it? Is it just the journey? Is it just the fact that the journey is taking, like, far too long? It could really be a journey time. If I copy that paste this over here. Do we not have the parts? We don't have the parts. Prioritize that. Right, we got 37 months worth of food. Let's unpause the beacon. Wow, we have such a large population already. Uh, housing level 2 is definitely on the cards. I'm terrified though. I'm terrified. I mean, there's so many mouths to feed. It really is worrying. Yeah, everything, yeah, everything seems to be stemming from a little bit of a lack of copper and a little bit of a lack of iron. Uh, neither of which is a particularly great position for us to be in. Uh, we need more excavators as well. I mean, how close are we to actually building another excavator? Iron plate. I mean, we need iron plates. It's just that simple. I'll tell you what we should be doing. Every single second that my boat is sitting here doing nothing and is not out getting more vehicle components for us, that's a waste of time. That's for sure. Uh, so yeah, raw copper, very important. Very, very, very critically important. The journey is not very far at all, so I don't understand why it takes such a long time to get to where it needs to go. Uh, slag as well. I tell you what, I didn't actually think about this, but we do have, we do have excess slag here, uh, which I have not accounted for and has just been manually removed which uh, I actually cannot do anything about right now because I've put the molten channels in a very, very awkward place. Yeah, that's definitely... Yeah, that's, that's an illegal maneuver. 
That's an illegal maneuver. That's fine. Uh, there are worth there are worse things. An oil rig. That's good. Ocean drilling technology. That's brilliant. That actually unlocks a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of brand new options for us. Very very nice indeed. So are we up and running in terms of power over here? Yes we are. How's this looking? Max output 100%. Max output is 100%. Throughput is 8%. It's working. It's producing a whole bunch of power. It's producing a whole bunch of power. And the flywheel is spun up as well as it should be. Perfect. Well, that's great. That's really, really nice. Uh, let's make sure that we're importing coal into there. Uh, already, as you can see, we're a little bit low on the old coal again. Um, we used to have a whole bunch of trucks just chilling around the uh, the mine control tower doing nothing. But now that has definitely been changed. New refugees. Excellent. Copper, rubber, and diesel. We've got a whole bunch of stuff that's actually in the shipyard. But that's fine. Right. Exploring. Already present or on the way. Exploration in progress. Okay, it's happening. It's happening. That's fine. Uh, we could we could do some trades. Haven't done any trades in a while. Hey, look at that. 18 pulps and a few more vehicle parts. That's really, really nice. Right. Head home. Bring back all of our new friends. Bring back some of these luscious vehicle components. Because believe it or not, we really need to build more excavators. Uh, we've gone from having the appropriate amount of excavators to, like, having nowhere near enough. I will say, though, this is fine. This is fine as it stands. We seem to have rectified the iron supply issue, which looks very, very good, in fact. Yeah, that's great. Let's, let's not start loading the damaged cargo ship yet. We don't need to worry about that. No mining designations are available. That's okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ooh. There we go. There's plenty to be getting on with. Plenty, plenty, plenty to be getting on with. Right, so power-wise, let's have a little look at the power grids. Uh, dude, what is it? 600, 600 kilowatts? Yeah, 600 kilowatts. One megawatt of mechanical power. One megawatt of mechanical power. Hold up. I need to add two more... I need to add two more of these things in here. I have not done the maths correctly. There we go. Yeah, that built. Throughput is low. Fifty-seven percent. Is that scaling to? Is that scaling because it's it's actually what we need? Yeah, I think. I think it's. I think we're basically we're scaling our production to what we actually need because we just don't need that much power, which is why it's fluctuating. So if we go and have a little peek at the diesel gens, uh, the diesel gens that I just decided to build there, uh, none of them should be working. Yeah, that's brilliant. Okay, um, let's let's disassemble this setup, disassemble that setup over there. I'm actually gonna unpause this and get this area set up. I mean, it's only level one components and a few electronics. That's fine. I'm quite happy with that. I would also like to pin uh, electronics because they're quite useful. Yeah, so I think that's good. We do need to get another excavator up here. Uh, maintenance depot level two. Now maintenance depot level two, is that gonna give me better maintenance? Let's remove the boost on all of this because we are 100% up and running. I will I will get this upgraded. Get both of those upgraded actually. That's gonna be quite handy. Okay. Yeah, so coal is coal is uh coal is a problem at the moment. Waste collection, let's not worry about that quite yet. Also there's housing level two, which I'm interested in looking into very shortly. Uh, let's also unpause the construction of the captain's office because I haven't got it yet, and that would be cool. A whole bunch of loot from a whole bunch of new peeps. Excellent. And there's still more still more to get, which is which is astounding. Uh, right. Oil rig can be repaired, and we are going to need to get the oil rig up and running kind of fairly soon. But I would kind of hope that by the time that... Oh my god. That by the time that this uh, source ends up going ends up going down, we can maybe get the more advanced oil refining technology. 
and we just don't have that advanced technology right now. There you go. Prioritize that. Just so that we have some extra some extra housing. Beautiful. Uh, also, better fields. We do need better fields. However, yeah, not enough workers. Let's adopt like 10. Whoa, we need 21? That's quite a lot. Requires reputation to be at least one. Okay, we'll donate over there, but we'll donate in time. Uh, 19 workers are now available. So do workers only count if they have a house to, to work in? That may very well be the case. Anyway, it doesn't particularly matter. What's the issue now? Sand? Right. So what we really need... 28 pops. Holy cow, that's loads. Not enough fuel? Surely we have enough fuel. Really? Okay, I guess that's everywhere explored then that we reasonably can explore. Uh, maintenance level 1 and maintenance level 2. I mean, is there a difference? Missing input? What's the input missing? Mechanical components? It's iron. It's always freaking iron. There is a lot of stuff happening right now. Uh, there's a lot of stuff happening. Priority for that. And... Priority for that. I don't want to copy the settings because otherwise it's going to junk it all up. Priority four, priority four. There we go. Giving the area the attention that we know it really needs to needs to have. Because if we don't have if we don't have iron, then this whole process falls apart. So even though things are extremely busy right now, there is pretty much no other way of tackling it. Also, we still can't explore these these areas, so that's what we're going to do. Captain's office has been has been built. Increasing population growth. Interesting indeed. Interesting indeed. Food saver, health boost, food consumption. Not sure that I care about any of those things to be honest. Let's get vehicle management because believe it or not, I think we're going to need vehicle management pretty darn soon. We're also going to need to get cargo depot. Advanced diesel is something that I literally just spoke about how useful it was. And we'll also get the burner. So we'll get a whole bunch of sort of assorted assorted bits and bobs. I have no idea if this power setup has enough water. It looks like it has enough water at the moment. But it's really, really, really difficult to tell. And I have absolutely no idea how much water we get from the, the sky. I'm not convinced it's actually enough, but but there you go. Okay. We are still extremely busy. Ooh. The excavator is done. Do we need... What? Oh, you've got too much slag. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. New refugees, excellent. Happy days. How on earth is my ship in battle? Not for long. How on earth is my uh, is my food supply still holding up? Did I upgrade all of these? Wow, I actually straight up did. Yeah, we should get some water. We should get some water in there then, if that's the if that's the case. Uh, okay, can we get some maybe coal, coal, coal excavation? That seems kind of useful. Veggies, we got a few veggies left over, but nothing crazy. I mean, everything is running very, very smoothly right now. It definitely feels smooth. Ooh, I really hate this. I really hate this this setup here. Yeah, because it's it's the slag it's the slag problem that we have, right? It's the slag problem that we have that is stopping that is stopping us from making maintenance because we do have a couple of we do have a couple of copper bits and bobs elsewhere, but we just need we need a way to be able to export slag automatically, 
and we just don't have that at the moment. And also we have a whole bunch of trucks that are incredibly busy right now. Here's the easiest way of going about doing things, I think. Quick remove, quick remove, quick remove, quick remove. Yeah, so. Yoink this. Can't be bothered finding it in the menus again. Come on. Yoink this. Connect that down there. Yeah. Kind of sucks to do, but I think it's just... It's the only, like, sane way of going about doing things. Okay, quick remove and quick remove. Now, the unintended consequence is that everything is going to look unbelievably out of kilter, out of whack. There we go. And just really freaking awkward. But that's the cost of doing business, I'm afraid. Right, get that all built smokestack yep yep and then the important thing now that we're able to do is get a loose storage bin or two u-shaped conveyor in there there we go all right costs a whole bunch of unity to do but absolutely worthwhile there we go excellent Right, retaining walls have finished being built. That's very exciting. I'm very, very intrigued. There we go. Uh, truck import, nope. Truck export, yes. And we'll make sure that that's a keep empty order. As it should be. Brilliant. Okay, so maintenance-wise, we should be back up and running again. I think there's like one or two more areas that we can still explore with our boat. Let's make sure that we absolutely try and do that. Uh, everything is too busy. Everything is too busy right now, and that is such a shame, because it really shouldn't be. It really, really, really should not be. Again, not enough maintenance. Wow. I really, I cannot believe it. I really cannot believe this. Let's unequip one of you over there and equip it over here. Yeah, there we go. Right, again, we're kind of running out of water over here. Until it rains, we're going to be in trouble. I thought that might be the case. I did, I did indeed speak about it, but it is what it is. We are making a huge number of construction component level ones, though, so that's great. Electronics are required, and we just don't have the copper. But we will have the copper. We will have the copper very, very, very soon. There we go. Marvelous. Yeah, it's just everything is so busy. Everything is just so freaking busy. Concrete processes run out of water. That's a little bit frustrating, but that's okay. I mean, what are all the trucks doing? I want to I want to actually know what they're doing. Right, we maybe get to this one. But we should also look at getting the boat out to do some repairs and whatnot. So that'd be good. Uh, yeah, we've, we're missing the water, so... It's exactly why we still have our diesel generators over here making... Uh, making power at an unbelievably inefficient rate. Also, I'm going to pause this because we absolutely do not need any more people it's going to be it's going to be busy enough as is methinks we're out of vegetables and even that seems to be yeah it seems to be not ideal we got a whole bunch of potatoes we do have a whole bunch of potatoes we are actually okay uh but yeah things are things are busy things are busy right now things are real 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 busy vehicle management 
next level, whatever it is, is going to be really, really handy. It's going to be very good for us. Small excavator has no fuel. Uh, fuel station is out of fuel. That's just because everything is so gosh darn busy, right? Pretty sure that's the case. I mean, it would be really, really nice if we could get that uh, that bit of tech that allows us to, you know, just say to the fluid storage, hey, we're going to assign... We're going to assign a, a truck to the fluid storage and, you know, it's just going to refuel. It's just going to refuel as and when. But unfortunately, we're not quite there yet. Either way, I mean, it certainly feels like... I mean, it feels like this is going very, very well. Uh, in all of the departments that actually matter, I think we're absolutely knocking it out of the park, if I do indeed say so myself. Uh, we have a massive population already, and I do kind of worry that maybe we've bitten off a little bit more than we can chew kind of immediately. Available to assign. 12 trucks available to assign. And they're doing some pathetic potato runs or whatever. Yeah, see, this could be automated. This could absolutely be automated. Yeah, I feel like this maybe should be automated, you know? Well, actually, it doesn't necessarily have to. Also, can we get, um... Can't get wheat yet. Get wheat seeds. We could just, like, put a big old belt across here. I mean, we do have the construction components to make this happen. Sure. Why not? That seems like a legit thing to do. Boom. Further, please. There we go. Excellent. Right. Is this the answer to all of our questions? Could very well be. Excuse me. That was it. That was it. There we go. Right. That's connected in. That's connected in. Brilliant. Okay. If we can get this done, then that's going to allow us to do truck auto export off, truck auto export off, auto export off, auto export off, and that's us, I think. Uh, there is obviously uh, optimizations to make. You know what, just quick build it, just quick build it all, just quick build it all. No reason not to, eh? Vehicle management level two. I can't believe that this early on we're being treated with the option of having 90 up to 90 vehicles in the game because I don't even think that was an option in the in the alpha actually I straight up just don't think that you could have that many vehicles right we are out of level 2 construction components that's okay though potatoes are coming in thick and fast excellent uh, what's stopping us from level 2 construction components it's copper what? How is this how is this out of fuel? Like seriously, how is this out of fuel? We have loads of fuel. This is on a keep full edict. It's just because things are so busy. What are they so busy doing? I mean, potatoes and and all that sort of delivery nonsense, but like what is what is everyone doing? Queued and waiting. I mean, where are you going for example? You're going over here, over here, over here.
Yeah, what's the what's the deal? Queued and waiting. What does that mean? What does queued and waiting mean? Okay, you know what? Okay, here's here's the thing. Here's what we do. This becomes a priority one. And this becomes a priority one. Right? Then we're gonna toggle like all the trucks off here, which may or may not have like an absolutely detrimental impact. But it's gonna like free up pretty much like every truck to go and do like fuel moving operations. Which, you know, hopefully it'll work. Let's do one more explore. Oh, we can't even do one more explorer. That's it. There's nothing. There's nothing else. There's nothing else that we can explore, which is good. That's a nice place to be. Vehicle management level three or two is done. That's great. That is good. That is very, very good. Very, very good. Very, very happy with that. Right. We good? We good with refueling now? That's excellent. Great. We're refueling. That's fantastic. Please keep up the good work. Keep on keep on excavating or whatever it is that you do. And then let's let's get back on top of this back on top of this setup here. How are we still extremely busy? I suppose we have actually like increased dramatically the amount of operations that we are doing. We'll do that, keep full, actually. Yeah. There we go. Okay, that's good. Truck auto export. Truck auto import. No. Copy. And paste. We don't want to be picking up slag from here and taking it over there, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen automatically. I wonder if that was perhaps a little bit of the issue. What's that? What is happening here? That was some weird stuff going on. I don't know. Was was there was there some weird processes going on here? There's no jobs now. How are we going from like? How did we arrive in this situation? I really have no idea. Uh, tree harvester has no fuel. That's fine. We'll fix that in just a sec. Put a few more of those on. A few more of these. Okay. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, still nowhere near enough water. That's a pretty big inconvenience, if I'm honest. But the good news is, is that farming-wise, we're in a really, really nice place. I'm, I'm happy with that. Slag-wise, we're also fine. Uh, we're going to need to get some more sand production. I mean, for sure, one truck just isn't enough. But are we okay for copper now? We're in a little bit of a better position when it comes to when it comes to copper. Yeah, I'm not unhappy with that. Not unhappy with that at all. Right, okay. Uh, good. So the exploration is now done. Very, very happy. Uh, next episode... I mean, who knows? Who actually knows? Who actually knows what's going to happen in the next episode? I suspect... Maybe try get to this plateau up here. That'd be good. Uh, I want to max out my vehicles. That's for sure. I want to get the repairs on the damaged cargo ship and the settlement started. So at least we can make some progress on that. Uh, but anyway, folks, you're going to have to tune in then if you want to see what the heck is going to go on. Uh, my name, of course, has been updated. This has been Captain of Industry. Thank you, as ever, for watching, ladies and gents. Check out the Patreon if, indeed, you're interested in helping make videos as possible. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.